Today I have this pretty cool robot, the dog robot. Now this one is controlled with the Raspberry Pi. You control this Wi-Fi. In a few hours in a good afternoon, Sunday, Saturday afternoon, you can put this together. I think it's a good project. Made from no matter what, everyone, no matter what, how old you are or how young you are. So let me show you how this thing works. How we doing, everyone? My name is Dario from EaboxyNT.com. So, like I said, in a few uh, afternoon, you can definitely have all this built. I think it's a great idea to introduce yourself or anyone with the Raspberry Pi. It's a good project. It's a cool robot. You control this with the Wi-Fi. You control this with the app as well too. But let's see it in action. All right. So first, I want to show you that before we run the other camera, is it? You see right, right over here, Raspberry Pi, the LED. And it has two buttons, one called control and low. So the control, it will turn on the Raspberry Pi and the low will load up all this server. All right. So if you have to work with the Raspberry Pi, just turn on the control. The LED has a nice buzz there. And we stole the batteries here. We managed the cable real nice. No, and uh, no tie wraps comes with the kit, but yes, it comes with all these tubing so you can make it all nice. So if you see, this is the final project, the unit. Uh, that's for the camera with the ultrasonic here on the top, the measurements, and we have the camera there. That's pretty nice because it's the mount of the dog. And that's it. So let's uh, turn it on. So we click low Raspberry Pi and you click on and you see that automatically. And it runs a tiny server there. That's what you're going to be connected with this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change cameras, go into my windows. So I load up the software. There is an app what you can do too. You control with the app. So let's wait until this uh, gets ready. You will see the legs will move soon. Load up the, uh, the server. You see that? That gets ready. So what I'm gonna do, that's my FPI transition, the battery level here. And I'm gonna go and let's go disconnect and connect. And I can see around the side and these little windows that, that we are connected there. So a few things we can do, we can control the bus there. Let's turn on the LED. Let's put, you can change different mode. You can change colors. You can do many things here. One of the things I can do is, uh, let's, and let's go and open this up. Let's put this so they can see me there. All right. I can move the head. Let's move the head. You see, up and down. You guys see that? So let me point it to my face. And I'm gonna click face here. And it should recognize me. Yes, you see that, eh? Dario? So if you have a few people, uh, you can run them different. And, and what you do is your face ID, it takes about 30 pictures. And then you just put the name on it. So if you're another person there, it can see who is there. And you should put the names there on each, uh, each face, right? So you have to. When you do that, you just go around and, and every time you do that, it will take pictures for you. So that's one effect. What I'm going to do now, and it comes with this red bolt you see in my hands. I'm going to go and click the ball. And now, if you see there the camera, all right? And if you see there, uh, trying, trying to find that for me. So that's one of the things you can do with this. Let's put and relax. Sure, it's more fun if we have more space on it. All right, so a few, a few things we can do here. I'm gonna go this way, and I can go I look this way. We can try this way. We can go that. We can go up. Right. We can go down. If you see in the camera, all these things you can do here. Right. We can control. Or you can just control from here. Right. That's pretty cool. You want to dance a conga? Hey, you can dance a conga too. Now, what we can do now and move forward. Okay, move forward, move back, move back. All right, we can uh, turn right. Pretty cool the way that turns right. All right, let's go one more time. One more time. Or we can turn left. All right. 
as you see and we can slice to the to the left see or we can slide to the right and if you see that i mean the legs the way the legs move that's just pretty interesting what i'm going to do i'm going to slow down the speed of this all right so slow down the speed now by the way if you're not doing anything about 10 seconds automatic will go in a relaxed mode so that way the servos will not overheat so let's slow down and let's go slice to the left and you can really see how the legs move you can really see how this thing moves right okay, better slow and go back or forward and go backwards now another thing we can do it has a self balance so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab this guy and change camera all right so by the way guys that's the box for the unit so i'm gonna put it right over here right and i'm gonna go on the screen and click balance okay so balance balance itself out they try to balance itself a real good project uh, to introduce somebody on the rest on the raspberry pi i would recommend a raspberry pi 3 because it's more economic in a sense and the four no need and now if you have a four just put a four into it and that's it uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave you links all the parts you need because if you get the kit right it's not gonna be with raspberry pi with the batteries i'll show you i will with that all the stuff you need to what i want to do too i want to show you the instructions for what the raspberry uh the pdf looks like all right so here we have the pdf and in the beginning to show you all the parts all the screw everything comes real nice organized how to put it together all the parts you need comes with the screwdriver tool thread ball only thing you need to get is these two things right then the, the first part is show you all the little introduction to raspberry pi the input and output so if you never wore the raspberry pi they give you like a little instruction to understand the difference between the raspberry pi what you need and not need to connect how to download it what I'm using, I'm using B, uh, B and C to connect. I think the best way to control this. Sure, you. There is other ways you can do it, and it show you if you have a display, you can use you know through Windows, or you can use that if you want. But it's, it's nicer if you just hook up a keyboard and a um, keyboard and a screen, and then after that, you no longer need one. I'm just controlling everything. If you want to use Windows, so you have all Mac, and it give you all instructions, and it's go back to the control board. And then after that, I'm going to move forward a little bit because it's all, all and then show you here how to put everything apart. Right? So step by step. And then the calibration mode, very important on the calibration mode. I didn't show you that part, but through that software, the one I showed you before, you're going to be able to calibrate the unit. See here, I show you all how, what to do, what not to do, how right, to connect the camera and how this thing is supposed to look like now i'm going to show you the paper here i'm going to change camera again and now and then what you need here is the calibration paper let me turn on here so this is a calibration paper yeah the z and x this is scale one to one that's the way you have to put it in and then you're going to put it around the top then from there what you do you choose low calibration mode and from here you just calibrate the unit it's when i hit if i hit calibration now i'm not connected let me connect go calibration mode and when i go calibration mode it stands up automatically and then what you have to do is just move the left because in the beginning it's not going to be calibrated at all so what you have to do is make sure everything match what you see here so you're going to move the the Z and X into everything come well I don't think you can get it as perfect but it works works good so one is calibrated you save it there and that's it even if you're going to use your app 
automatic connects XS means it's automatic saves instruction on the server on the Raspberry Pi. I think that's the only thing you, know, you need to know to get this thing running. All right, guys, I think it's a real cool project. Uh, and that's it. And like always, I'll leave you the link uh, right below this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.